Hi, I'm Caleb Bennett Wall with the Greg Lynn team at Sotheby's International Realty. At the end of each quarter, Sotheby's International Realty compiles a list of the dynamic San Francisco real estate market. Let's take a look at the notable moments of downtown in the first quarter of 2023. Downtown, you'll find several different kinds of listings. We have kind of our classics like 301 Mission, Mira, Lumina, and the Avery, which are new high-rise luxury buildings. But we also have some more unique offerings, loft conversions, for instance, like One South Park or 300 Beale. The fourth quarter downtown was a bit tricky, and we were anticipating much the same coming into the first quarter of 2023. In preparation for that, we really buckled down on the listings that we had and created new pricing strategies and marketing strategies in order to get these properties in front of all of the right people. As the market leaders here in San Francisco, we were uniquely placed to have a broad view of what was happening, not only in the downtown market, but in the city as a whole. People love this neighborhood because of its dynamic growth and its proximity to the Embarcadero. It's also very close to the Ferry Building, which has obviously all of the shops and restaurants there, but as well, it has a farmer's market every weekend that people love. It's also close to the Bay Bridge, and as well as uh, any of the public transportation here in the city. Interestingly enough, when January came, it was almost like a switch had been flipped here downtown specifically. And all of a sudden we started seeing a lot more interest in, in properties that had been sitting previously in 2022. As a result, we were able to really kind of hone in and build on those that interest and sell several properties off market. A perfect example of that is 301 Mission number 54B. We sold that for $7,750,000, which is the highest resale price in over 18 months in San Francisco's downtown region. One of my personal favorite sales of Q1 was over at 300 Beale. We had a one bedroom there that had been on the market for over a year. And I was able to connect a buyer who wasn't necessarily looking for that property to this property and make them fall in love. And we sold it at a price that everyone was happy with. The exciting thing about Q2 so far, we're seeing that this momentum that we have seen in Q1 is really not only continuing, but building. We just, for instance, sold the penthouse at One South Park. Not only did we sell that, but we was on the market for 10 days, we had multiple offers, and it sold for $200,000 over asking. The momentum is real.